Good morning. Today, I wanted to share from Hebrews verses 10, or chapter 10, verses 26 through 29. And I was thinking about just, you know, our assurance of salvation with the Lord and, and our sins. You know, if we slip up, um, what kind of hope do we have of, of restoration? And there has to be forgiveness, right? Because we're going to make mistakes. And uh, if there is no forgiveness, then what hope do we have? You know, are we all supposed to just die because we sin? But then we have to not abuse that grace. And I just want to touch on, you know, understanding that that there is a point of of you know judgment from the Lord that we must we must not cross this line and this is a line we must not cross right here starting in verse 26 it says if we sin willfully after that we have received the knowledge of the truth there remains no more sacrifice for sins but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation which shall devour the adversaries he that despised Moses' law died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much worse punishment do you suppose shall he be thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified an unholy thing and has done despite unto the Spirit of grace? How much sore punishment shall he be thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified, an unholy thing and has done despite unto the Spirit of grace. It's important to see here, first of all, it's like everyone says, you know, the question, can you lose your salvation? And I would say, um, no, can, can you lose it like, like you lost something on accident? You know what I mean? Like, like you lost a hundred dollar bill and you're looking for it and you can't find it. Um, no, I would say you, you can't lose it. But if you take that hundred dollar bill and you go and you spend it on, you know, prostitutes and, and drugs and, and casinos and, and you go and willfully waste it, that's a difference. You know what I mean? It's not, we have assurance that we're not just going to, we're not just going to lose it on accident. You know what I mean? But you can willfully reject it. You know what I mean? And there's a difference. So, and if you willfully reject something, here's the, here's the, here's the answer. Here's what you have to look forward to. A certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. And people will say, well, if someone willfully rejects it, they were never saved in the first place. Well, then I'll take you to verse 29. It says, of how much sore punishment do you suppose shall he be thought worthy who trodden underfoot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified? So here's important. So this person who has trodden underfoot the Son of God was sanctified um and in, in in order to be sanctified you have to put your faith in jesus christ so this person has the ability to be punished which was sanctified and and still turn away even after he was sanctified that's scary i mean i can't imagine that but just because i can't imagine that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen <laughs> you know what I mean and and, I'll, and I'm going to touch on some more things because it's like this you know for people who are um, saying once saved always saved you know like think about the angels in heaven like who could be more secure than them <laughs> you know what I mean they were already there they saw the father's face they saw God and they still rebelled against him and lost their place with him so we can do the same God's the same yesterday today and forever like he hasn't changed 
if the angels that he created with him uh, who started out as perfect lost their position because of rebellion, we also lose our position because of willful rebellion. Amen.